Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about antiderivatives. In problem number 49, we'd like to determine the indefinite integral of the integral of 6 divided by the square root of 25 minus x squared dx. All right, so when I look at this problem, the very first thing I see is, now wait a second, this looks like something I've seen before. It looks kind of, sort of like the derivative of sine inverse x. Uh, and let me show you what I mean. So if y was equal to sine inverse of x, then we know that the derivative of y, or dy dx, is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, uh, this is not exactly what I have over here, but it is pretty close. It kind of has the same form. Notice the only difference is, is up here I have a 6 instead of a 1, and down here I have a 25 instead of a 1. So let's see what we can do to work on that and see if we can fix it in some sense. Okay. First thing I can do is I see on top I've got a multiple of 6. Well, 6 is a constant, and constants can move outside and inside of the integral sign. So what I want to do is I'm just going to take that 6, and let's just write it outside of the integral sign. And that works just as well. So if I do, I could rewrite this thing as 6 times the integral of 1 over the square root of 25 minus x squared dx. Now, this is a little bit better because now I have the 1 on top, which I wanted, but I do not have the 1 here. Okay? And what I want to say is, okay, so usually this is sine inverse of x, but what if we had sine inverse of something close to x? like some multiple of x. Uh, and the multiple that I want to look at is what if we had y is equal to sine inverse of x over, well, I know when I take the derivative, this thing gets squared. So this thing is a square of something. What's it the square of? 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the x by 5 and see what happens here. All right? Now, if I took the derivative of this guy, I get dy over dx, and what would happen? Well, I get 1 over square root of 1 minus this thing squared. So it's x over 5 squared, but then I need to multiply that by the derivative of x over 5, which is 1 fifth. Well, let's simplify that a little bit. That says that dy over dx is equal to, uh, it's 1 over, on the bottom I get the square root of 1 minus x squared over 25, but then I need to multiply that by 1 fifth. Now, what if I took that 5 and I put it inside of the square root? 5 inside of the square root is the same as multiplying everything inside the square root by 25. So I could rewrite this. This is dy over dx is equal to, if I move that 5 inside, this becomes 25, and the 25 cancels this 25. So I get 1 over the square root of 25 minus x squared, which is exactly what I have right here. So what I need to do is I need to say, okay, so if I want this to be the derivative, what do I need to take the derivative of? Sine inverse of x over 5. So this antiderivative is sine inverse of x over 5, well, plus a constant. So what we get here, remember now we're back here, this is equal to 6 times uh, sine inverse of x over 5, and then we need to add on our 
constant of integration. And that will be our antiderivative. 